personal message regarding uh, the brown to the blue. Now, obviously this is something that will happen to you on a regular basis, uh, whether you're clearing up the colours uh, as the colours practice, or whether you're a little bit further into a break and you're clearing the colours to clear the table, obviously. So this little exercise here will give you all the shots that you need when you're roughly finished with the brown on the spot and the blue on the spot. I've got the blue on the spot up there, as you can see. Uh, and what I've actually got is the brown on its spot and I've got seven balls behind it. Now those balls are roughly giving me the angles that are needed to explain what I'm going to be doing. Uh, and what they are basically is full ball, three quarter ball, half ball and quarter ball. Uh, and again, if we stick to the basics, basic angles of what we're doing, then it's a lot simpler to explain and a lot simpler to understand on your part. So forget about thickish half balls and thinnish full balls and, or whatever. Just keep it nice and simple and just keep those four angles in mind. So what I've got there is the white in the middle of the seven and the white is absolutely dead straight with the brown. You just see the pocket there at the bottom of the screen. Uh, and what I'm actually going to do is tell you the, or explain to you the shots that you'll basically need to get to the blue from, or the brown to the blue. Uh, now, the, the white is absolutely dead straight with the brown, so I'm not going to play that shot for the simple reason it's dead straight. And if you're trying to get on the blue, obviously you're playing the screw it back. Uh, if you run it through, you go in the bottom pocket if you hit it straight enough. So obviously that's not the way to get on the blue from there. So, if it is we take it that when you finish dead straight, it's a screw shot to get the blue, we'll now move to the next one. So what we've actually got now is a three-quarter brown to the corner pocket to try and get to the blue. There are two ways of actually playing this shot. One is a stun shot, and the other is a screw shot. Again, it depends on the situation of the game and also the situation of the table. So, when you're in this situation, you have to decide which shot you want to play. The stun shot, first of all, it's a little bit of a forcing shot. So we, what we're going to do is take the white in this direction so as we can get to the blue that way. So it's played as the stun shot, but just a little bit firmer, just so we get the reaction on the white that we want. You can see there, just force it in just that little bit, and you see now I've come up for the blue. I could probably go just a fraction lower on the white so it comes up this sort of area, we're a pot in the brown, I'm on the blue, so that's, that's that shot there. The other shot now in this position, when we sort of like three quarter, is now a screw shot. So again, the important thing is, it's not one where it wants really deep screwing in and then up, it's just a nice screw shot, make sure as you push the cue through the white. That way you get a little bit of reaction on the ball, and then the cue ball sort of comes in this direction. Just a nice screw shot, brought it up for the blue, and nice on the blue. Now the next shot what we've got here is our ball. And this is more, more or less the same shot, again, every time you sort of get, again, depending on where it is, but if the blue's on the spot, it's just a simple stun shot, nothing more, nothing less, doesn't need any side, doesn't need any forcing, so we just pop the brown off the side cushion, and then out for the blue. So it's just an easy stun shot. There, just stun it in, and the white is just nicely up for the blue. Make sure we come out a little bit so as we get the, the cue ball in, you can see the cue ball there. It has finished there every time. I'm honest with the, everything I do here on the Snooker Pro Tips, so I have got on the blue each time. And then the last one, this is a little bit more tricky you now because it's the quarter ball. Let's make sure we get a ball there so we're the same every time. And again, it's a lot easier to play it as a stun shot, but you can play it as a screw shot. Again, like I've said, dependent on how the table is actually situated. So the screw shot is just a delicate, light floated screw shot. You can see there, I'm up for the blue. The good thing with playing it that way is that you actually take the middle pocket out of the equation. Because if it is now we take it as a stun shot, if it is a little bit twitchy, a little bit edgy, then the tendency is that you could probably just put the white into the middle pocket if you played it as a delicate stun shot. But it can be played as a delicate stun shot. And it's something like this. You 
you there. It is a delicate shot. That's gone in. Nice on the blue. Both shots are right. And again, it's how you feel at the time and how you think you, how you feel you're going to play. Now, as I've said, we've also got the other side. Now, what I could have done, actually, is put it on the other side of the table. But what I'd have been able to do there is reach every single shot. Now, most of the time, what we should be doing is practicing both sides for this particular reason. Because if I stick them, the balls here now, the difficulties I'm actually going to have is that I can't actually reach once I get to a certain point. So then the rest has to come into play. So what we've got now is, a, again, dead straight. So it's coming back, obviously. So now we move to this one, which is a three-quarter one. Now, we could play this as a screw shot with reverse side. Well, that's going to be very difficult. So it's quite simple just to run it through. Little trace of running side, which is 11 o'clock in this instance. So we pop the brown. White comes off the bottom cushion, side cushion, and then over for the blue. The difficulty with this shot now is that you're going to have to stretch slightly. So, but if you're pretty tall, you'll be able to reach. I'm not very tall. So it's a little bit of a stretch for me. Make sure you're comfortable. 11 o'clock, nice cue through the ball. You can see the side there just reacts off the cushion and then brings me nicely up for the blue. If you did your junior in that case, don't stretch for it, get the rest, get used to using the rest. So now what we've got is half ball red, and again, now because I can't reach, this now is where the rest comes into play, and all it is, basically, is just a nice stun shot. So it's coming bottom cushion, side cushion, and then out for the blue. No side, just below the center, and just let the cue go through the ball. Just gone a little bit low on it, but you can see now that the white's come up. I have got a shot at the blue, it's in there. So it's not, a, it's not a, a sort of a poor shot. If I wanted, I've got the blue to the corner. So it's not a bad shot as such. So the next one, the last one, so I'll stick for it there. This is the quarter ball. Again, just stretching slightly. But what I'm going to make sure is that I don't play too firm. No side required with this. We're just hitting roughly about the center of the white, concentrating on the pot. And what it's going to do is going to take this path off the side and just come nicely around. So nothing too flash with it, just the center. Nice pot, it's just over it slightly, but you get, the, you get the rough idea and the general idea. And again, if I've taken all these off, then I can go up and down. I've done clips already on pro tips about potting the blue up and down and coming up for the pink. That there is just over it. If it finishes here, absolutely perfect. And that's what you're roughly looking for. Now, those shots there need to be practiced. And if you practice them, then you'll become a little bit proficient at it in that sort of area. Uh, it's been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this has helped. Uh, I hope you get a, a good inside out of it and how to practice this. Again, make sure you practice both sides of the table. Uh, it's something that you can add to your practice routine. And I hope it helps you out. I'm sorry I can't remember your name, the, the person who uh, sent the, the message. I do apologise. But it's been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you.